Tonight, Arizona Republican leaders are divided over the future of the state party. Karen Taylor Robeson, who lost to Carrie Lake in the primary, is now calling on Arizona GOP chair Kelly Ward to resign. Robeson, whose family has deep GOP roots here in Arizona, says Ward is failing. Emma Lockhart joins us now with more on this, Emma. Yeah, Robeson says this is the first time since the Watergate era that the Arizona Republican Party has lost a majority of statewide races, adding that the party can't afford another two years with her as chair. A strong message from Karen Taylor Robeson today. The and former candidate for governor patient. says the Arizona GOP the needs over. a fresh start. Arizona. Thank you. She says that begins with Kelly Ward resigning. When you look at the results from last night, uh, they were horrendous for the Republican Party. Robeson is calling for Ward to step down as Arizona GOP chair. Matt Salmon, who held the position from 2006 to 2008, agrees. When you are party chairman, your job is to get Republicans elected. And I think she forgot that and it became the Kelly Ward show. And uh, the result was dismal. In a statement released today, Robeson said, quote, on Ward's watch, the Arizona GOP has allowed our state to vote Democrat for president for the first time in a generation, has lost two U.S. Senate races along with the governor's office. Robeson went on to say Ward's leadership has been an unmitigated disaster. The party is as weak and as irrelevant as I've ever seen it in my life in this state, and it really, really makes me sad. Robeson lost to Carrie Lake in the GOP primary. Ward backed Lake in that race, a move Salmon says cost the party the midterm election. In the past, party chairmen are not supposed to weigh in on races in the primary. They're supposed to give everybody an even hand. But Kelly Ward did everything she could to stack the deck at the state level, and the candidates that she wanted uh, won the primary and got creamed uh, in the general. And we reached out to Ward for a response to Robeson's call for her to resign, but have not heard back at this time. Back to you guys.